Hi friends, so today we are going to see about the pumping dam, right? So pumping dam. So I am going to give some uh, some short introduction about pumping dam, and we will go to the sum. Okay. So a technique for finding a particular language is regular or not. So it is a method which helps helps in finding the particular languages. So are regular or not right what is meant by regular in the sense what is meant by regular regular means the language which is accepted by the automata so that is called regular okay what are the logic behind pumping lama is if we pump an intermediate string one or more times there will be a path which leads to the accepting state that is the ultimate uh, idea behind pumping dhamma if we pump an intermediate string many times that is it loops and it reaches to the accepting state so if we loop the intermediate string that will lead to the accepting state that is the idea behind pumping dhamma so Mm. So to be to prove a particular languages are regular or not, there is a some specific rules we have to follow, right? So the rules to be followed while solving a pumping lemma was first rule is uh, for a given language we just take any string, particular string, and we will assume it as Z, right? We separate the particular string into u, v, w. Okay, according to the user, according to the solver, he can separate in any form. Okay, well, so take any string and separate in the form of u, v, w. Second one. Um, so modulus of u, v is less than or equal to n. What is meant by n? N is nothing but the length of the string. If for example, if you take a power 3, then n is equal to 3, right? And the length of the string taken by the solver, right? So, so uh, it is nothing but the uh, cardinality, uv. What is the cardinality of uv? Whether, for example, uh, what is the length of the string uv, right? That is less than or equal to n. n is nothing but the total length of the string. Third rule, modulus of v is greater than or equal to 1. v, right? That is, v is not is equal to empty string. Right? We, are, we have to see, we, we will see that also. Final one, after uh, rectifying the all one, after, after uh, uh, applying the above rules, we, we came to the rule of fourth rule and we apply u v power i w is belongs to l for all i greater than or equal to zero we just apply u v power i w okay well, apply i apply uh, v power i for any value and check whether the resultant string belongs to the language or not right Okay, so we'll go 